Embrace the Globe 21. Yes, we are. My name is Spencer. And I'm Daniel. And look, we're doing another why is this American fast food thing failing in another country? And I think it's something that a lot of our folks will uh, love, which is why is McDonald's struggling in the Philippines? Jollibee. Well, I, I feel like, you know what? It's a good talking point because over here they don't fail. You know, it's a good slice of humble pie for these corporations to eat. That Deep fried uh, humble apple pie. You can't impose the American way everywhere. Right. You know what right. I mean? Especially like, with Jollibee. Have you had yeah. Jollibee before? Never. Oh. Never had it. I know it exists here because you did a review on it. I did. And oh my God, it is so good. Uh, that uh, uh, spicy chicken joy with some spaghetti game over man really game okay freaking over like there you go you, you, it, it's a little at first for the american palate it's a little weird because the tomato sauce is a little more sweet because it's i think it's like a banana based ketchup that they use and what? hot dogs but trust me it's good i'm fine with that i feel like that's an experience that i definitely want to have but it's interesting because you at mcdonald's and other countries they do something unique. Well, first, they care about their food and their establishment, right? right? And they also try to include unique fare in those abroad McDonald's. Right, appeal to the local taste. Like in India, they have a, a halloumi cheese thing yeah. instead of because they don't eat beef there. Yeah. That's an example that I've taught my head. And also like Chicago, at the international McDonald's location, you can try a lot of these things at that location that's kind of cool but anyway let's see why they're failing in the philippines let's do it three two one mcdonald's is an american fast food behemoth with more than thirty-seven thousand restaurants in 120 countries the chain dominates pretty much every market it chooses to enter it has a reputation for taking over fast but in the Philippines, where McDonald's has been trying and failing for nearly 40 years to be number one, 40? there's a local chain giving McDonald's a run for its money. Jollibee. Yeah, 40 freaking years. What, let me see when this was made. They, a lot of these are old. We know that. But it's five years ago, 2018 is when this was made. But Wow. That, like, as of the, this recording now, like there are definitely more locations of Jollibee in the United States than there were at the time of this recording. Wow. Okay. Wow. It took them that long to battle for a foothold? No way. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. McDonald's. McDonald's that's almost never like failed. that's like a second embassy of the US. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's every McDonald's location. I mean that's nuts. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah. Let's see. Jollibee, you know, came way back in 1978, really established its presence and, you know, captured the market um, a lot. So then subsequently, when these brands like McDonald's and KFC came in, um, you know, it's hard for them to really take away the value proposition that Jollibee offered. Filipinos love Jollibee, and it's not just because it was there first or that it undercut its competition on prices. They nailed their recipes. And of course, I think they positioned themselves a, a bit cheaper than McDonald's. So when McDonald's came in, uh, the difference was maybe 50 cents to a dollar for every value meal. So that's how they tried to position themselves. Filipinos love American food, but there's also a twist in it because we like it sweet. For example, um, we serve spaghetti and they try to make the sauce a bit sweet. The menu covers a lot of ground. Fried chicken, french fries, sweet burger steaks, chicken sandwiches, and a spaghetti with a sweet banana ketchup sauce in hot dog chunks. Culture also plays into it. Uh, they have a tagline, it's called Lang Hap Sarap, meaning uh, it, it smells really good. So um, it, it's really inviting the smell. Uh, and um, um, I think they, they know where they should be targeting uh, the market. So it's really, uh, it's really the middle class market for Filipinos because uh, they initially positioned it as a fast food, but now I think since the mass market is developing, I think they positioned it as a QSR, so a quick serve restaurant. It's mascot. Yeah, a lot of that makes sense. Like they're appealing to the Filipino palate. I guess they like stuff a little sweeter over there, and like it's 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 their take on American style food, like fried chicken, you know, spaghetti and meat sauce, and. 
What the sweet? Like, see, I don't. I'm not a fan of the sweets. I'm right. not. I'm not a. I'm more of a savory guy. So right, right. So I, I that's that. interesting. That's interesting. That's interesting. I, I'd be like I said. I'm always willing to try it. Always willing. To yeah. Try it. But that's um, like, it's a unique take on that market. Yeah, yeah, and like I guess they had that covered when McDonald's and KFC came in because you know <laughs> they yeah. got fried chicken, they got burgers. So why why would they need McDonald's over there? So they just beat out the price. Smart. Yeah, yeah, they undercut them. I mean, even now, 2024, inflation in the United States, a, a Big Mac meal is like eleven, twelve dollars. Which is even crazy. Yeah, Which even in a small crazy. town where I live, it's it's ridiculous. Like it used to be like I remember when it was like three, three dollars, dude. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, it, back in the ne day. Next to nothing. Next to nothing. Hmm is a human-sized red and yellow bumblebee wearing a blazer and chef's hat. It's meant to epitomize the Filipino spirit of an always busy but cheerful people. Jollibee is the biggest fast food um, chain in the Philippines itself. Um, so it is hugely popular. And um, a last, last part of this is because of the branding itself. So it has become to be known as a very um, household and a family oriented brand that you know really connects and resonates and strikes a chord among Filipinos. Jollibee has also pushed out TV commercials and ads that are big on family values. And the numbers show that so far, Jollibee indisputably trumps McDonald's in the Philippines. Mc yeah, that, that's another thing that a lot of uh, our Filipino folk have been pushing us towards is Jollibee commercials. Apparently, hmm. they're very tear jerking. So, huh. if you want us to do that, put it in the comments below. Put the title of it that way. If you put links in there, it'll yeah. get into our held for review folder and we won't see it. So, put the title of it and yeah. not the link. So, yeah, we'll see. I, I, I'm interested because, like, you know, what happens is McDonald's is too big to fail, it's right. just too big globally. Like, so I feel like instead of trying to make the quality better or or kind of fit in with the public, it's either take over or they'll just it'll they'll just cut costs, cut loss and get out and they'll go yeah. somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it reflects American values no. of, you know, of it's not as good as it could be, but it's cheap and it's easy to get. Well, cheap is uh, a, bit, yeah. a bit of a debate Relative. these days, but yeah. uh, but it's easy. It's yep. easy, and y'all get what I'm saying. McDonald's has roughly half as many locations as Jollibee there, and while neither company isolates its revenues in the Philippines, Euromonitor estimates show that Jollibee pulled in nearly twice as much as McDonald's in 2017. Wow. Wow. Jollibee captured nearly 36% of the fast food market in 2017, and McDonald's took roughly half that. And Jollibee's hold on the market doesn't end with its own chain. Jollibee Foods Corp. also owns chains in the Philippines like Chinese fast food chain Chow King, Greenwich Pizza, Red Ribbon, which sells pastries, and even U.S.-based Burger King. Almost all of what? Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me Wait, run that back what? for a second. Wait Let me a run minute. That back. Which rank in which sells pastries. Okay, so these brands right here to our, our Pinoy friends. Wow. Tell us, what do you like these? And what do you get there? Yeah. And that blows my mind that the American the Burger King in the Philippines is controlled by Jollibee. Wow. That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> wow. Mm. See, let's see. Chinese food, pizza, and pastries. So basically a Panda Express, uh, uh, Domino's, and uh, I guess Dunkin' Donuts probably. There, there you go. That probably would be good. Yep. Yeah. That would be a good yeah. comparison. Yeah. And even U.S. based Burger King, almost all of which rank in the top five list of chain fast food restaurants in the Philippines. So the company literally owns its competition. <laughs> but Jollibee is now at a crossroads. The domestic market is oversaturated, so it's instead setting its sights on the Filipino diaspora. If you look at the international expansion, I think uh, year to date, at least they've grown around 25%. So it's already starting to overtake the uh, domestic front, the same store sales growth, meaning it compares uh, stores that, that were already operations uh, from the previous year. So it's only been growing 
Uh, and it's since the publicly listed company, 8% isn't enough if, if you're just going to grow it organically. So they have to expand. So far, Jollibee has more than 200 international locations in countries ranging from Saudi Arabia and Kuwait to Italy and Canada. The Filipino chain is also taking on rival McDonald's on its home turf. Since 1998, Jollibee has opened 37 locations in the U.S., all in cities with big Filipino communities. Yeah, let me, let me run that back for a little bit. You guys are on the map. 37 locations there. in the U.S., yeah. all in cities with big Filipino communities. Yeah, and you notice D.C. Yep. is not on that at the time of this. Like, this is 2018, so yep. there's definitely two or three uh, Jollibees in the D.C. area. Let, let um, me... I just real quick. I want to see how many are there. There are now because yeah. if they've experienced uh, success, and there will be more than thirty-seven, right? All right, hold right. on. How many Jollibees? How I want. I want to spell it right. J O L L. Is it? I yeah. J O L L I B E E. All right. Whoever whoever gets to it first. Well, seventy-two. There's seventy-two. 70, as seventy-two. As of twenty twenty-four, seventy-two. That's awesome. That's, That's crazy. Awesome. So they're 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 getting there. They're yep. getting there. They still got a long ways to go. It's like like Nando's from the UK that has a lot of US locations now. So they're they're starting to be on the up and up. Well, from the geography now, I think we have one of is it one of the highest um immigration rates from the Philippines? I think so. Yeah. It's like the, one one of them. So we have a very big uh, in-house population of of expat Filipinos and Filipino yeah. families. So, yeah. you know, there is a market. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Communities. Just take New York City. There are more than 250,000 Filipinos living in the New York metropolitan area. In the fall of 2018, Jollibee opened its second location in the city. This one in the heart of Times Square. Nice. Yay! Jollibee uh, has a very distinct Filipino taste. So most, most of the dishes here have a, uh, a sweet uh, taste to it. Um, I always loved Jollibee um, since birth because back in the Philippines, we always, do, we always eat there. CNBC decided to fact check. Our team of producers put Jollibee's sweet and savory menu to the test. Oh, that's good. I think it's good. It's, it's not that spicy yet. Our producers approved for the most part. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Jollibee may be striking a nerve with Filipino Americans, but the company appears to be thinking much bigger when it comes to dominance. With only 37 Jollibees and roughly 4 million Filipinos living in the United States, Jollibee's reach in the country is far from the command it had in the Philippines. And targeting Filipinos in the US isn't enough for the company to skyrocket to success. That's why Jollibee Foods Corp. decided to take a majority stake in a popular American burger joint called Smash Burger. We... Smash Burger? So they, I didn't know they... that was an actual chain. I, I mean, I heard the, the, the culinary preparation of a Smash Burger. You know, you take the, the beef and you put it on the grill and then you take a, a thing and then you smash it down yeah. like that. I didn't know that was an actual chain. I've... I've seen them a couple times, Smash Brothers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I've never been in. I, I, for some reason, I thought they were owned by like Shake Shack, or something like that. I, yeah. I, I don't know, but that's that's crazy. So okay, so they're they're expanding their their reach into purchasing what is it, majority or some stock in other companies. Yeah, in the okay. states. Okay, okay. Yeah. They're playing the long game here. Okay. Yeah. Mm. We wanted to replicate the successes of Philippines in the U.S., which is to have a multiple uh, number of uh, brands that are successfully operated. And uh, that's why we, we have this mass burger, we have the uh, tortas frontera, and we're continually exploring other possible acquisitions. Smash Burger only has 323 restaurants in the United States, a far cry from McDonald's more than 14,000 stores. But it gives Jollibee the opportunity to increase its presence in the U.S. and allows it to target American consumers as well. That's trying, That's more of their foray, uh, one into uh, the overseas market and second into QSRs. 
In September 2018, Jollibee said it was also looking to get in on America's $41 billion Mexican food market by purchasing a stake in Tortas Frontera, a small Mexican sandwich chain in the U.S. But the United States isn't the only country where Jollibee has set its sights. They've also been expanding uh, in China, for example. So I think they, they experimented. I think that one has been more successful. The, the owners have uh, roots uh, from China, so I think that has proven to be more successful. And of course, logistically, it's it's more accessible to, to I guess, ex expand uh, in, a, I guess, in the area that's closer to, to home. Jollibee has also made a few strategic acquisitions in China and in Vietnam, where it's leaned into coffee and pho. Though Jollibee has expanded its reach to other countries, McDonald's still squashes the company when it comes to revenues. McDonald's made nearly $23 billion in 2017, while Jollibee Foods Corp brought in only 10% of that. Jollibee has a long way to go until it can replicate the success McDonald's has seen around the world. But until then, it comfortably holds its number one spot back home in the Philippines. Well, you're not going to go. McDonald's is a, is a Goliath. It's yeah. going to take... A long time. And I'm not saying that because I'm like, well, fuck yeah, McDonald's. I'm just saying it's it's, it's fucking McDonald's. It's the reality. It, it They are the goat of is. the quick service restaurant of the, the world. And yes. But Jollibee's coming for their butt. So the fact that they've expanded in the United States and they've got a burger joint and a taco joint. But that, Excuse me. Could you... See, for some reason, I get it. Jollibee Corp does that but that doesn't necessarily represent Jollibee the standalone food chain because McDonald's owns I think they own Chipotle yeah they have a steak in it at least yeah so it's like well you know Jollibee's I mean, you saw as you heard from the numbers they have 72 now that's growth right the yeah. standalone restaurants uh, yeah. so hopefully I don't think the goal is to peak with McDonald's the goal is to be successful here like, yeah. I feel like it'd be like, I'm going to join the NBA to play against Michael Jordan, right? Kind of thing. I yeah. don't want to play against Michael Jordan. I just want to get into the NBA. Right, right. And succeed with my team. Yeah, succeed with my team, <laughs> right? And so I think, and they've come a long way from 37 to what is 72. That's still growth. Yeah, almost doubled. Yeah, it should just keep doubling then, man. But it's interesting that you have... A Jollibee down there. Is the Jollibee down there? There isn't one. Well, I'm in Virginia Beach, which okay. is four hours from where I am. Okay. That's the closest one. Is but, that And that's where you had it? Uh, That's where I had the second time. The first time I had it was uh, in, in Maryland, outside of D.C. Wait, we have a Jollibee in Maryland? Yeah, yeah. I'll be closer to you than there is to me. Wow. I didn't know. Wheaton's not that far away. Yeah. Um, that's why I was, my next question was like, it's in how they, they left the MV alone. But I guess they didn't. No, so no, makes more that, sense. they're in the DMV, dude. All right, man. All right, there you go. Yeah. Didn't know. Now you just saw I'm up there. I've got to take you there. Yep. Yep. Okay. Cool. I. I wait. That's interesting. A yeah. sweet spaghetti sauce with pieces of hot dog in it. it interesting. Works. Trust me on that one. It, it's uh, so odd to me that it that it would work. Yeah. yeah. I can see that happening. Mm-hmm. So oh, fair enough. Yeah. Man. Heck yeah. In the next uh, ca in casual video, uh, Phil make pin always proud part five. Maybe he might inc incorporate the whole Jollibee, Jollibee company into that one. That would be awesome. Now, is there chicken sweet too? No, no. But it's, it's like it's up there in terms of fried chicken with the likes of Popeyes and wow, Bojangles. Okay. KFC in the United States is garbage. Yeah. And yeah, it's there. Okay. Like, it gives a run for its money. Okay. 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 That's all I need to know. Yeah. That's all I and, need the, to know. and that gravy too. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, man. I'm there. What? I'm sold. I'm sold. Yeah. Hell, you hungry? We should end this. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. So around to subscribe and watch another video. What next, Dan? Unplug and go get some Jollibee, guys, if you can. Exactly. See y'all next one. Later. Fellas, we could be that mistake. Do this.